For those of you that have a hard time obtaining focus for sake of work or focus for sake of anything, there's a really cool way that you can explore this chemistry of your breathing and your bloodstream and the way that your brain works in ways that can really benefit your health. And it works the following way. You want to essentially sit or lie down. doesn't really matter. You definitely don't want to be anywhere near water. And what you want to do is you're going to breathe in deep, so that's going to increase your heart rate, and then exhale passively by just letting air fall out of your mouth. So it would look something like this. So you breathe in vigorously and then you let the air just fall out of your mouth. When you do that, what you're essentially doing is you're bringing in a lot of oxygen through that deep breath and you're exhaling a little bit of that carbon dioxide. But if you were to repeat it 25 times, maybe 30 times, you would essentially start bringing in a lot of oxygen and blowing off or exhaling a lot of carbon dioxide. So you're actually going to change the chemistry of your internal landscape. And there are some really interesting reasons for wanting to do that. So I'm not gonna do all 25 or 30 now, I'll maybe do five or 10 so you can get a sense of what it looks like. So it's inhale, exhale through the mouth. I am inhaling through the nose. two second or so inhale, and then a one second or so exhale. And as I was doing that, I can kind of feel my face get flush and my body is heating up and my brain is heating up. What's happening there? Well, that pattern of breathing is increasing levels of adrenaline in my brain and body, and I'm getting more alert. Then after 25 or 30 of those, you exhale all your air. You can do that your nose or your mouth. And then you hold your breath with your lungs empty for about 15 to 30 seconds. Now, for those of you that want to explore this, and please be careful as you explore this, don't do anything stupid like do this while you're driving or something like that. And what you'll find then is you can hold your breath for a very long time. And the reason you can do that is because you've blown off all the carbon dioxide or most of the carbon dioxide in your bloodstream. So you've shifted the chemistry of your blood by modulating your air, by modulating the mechanics of your diaphragm and lungs and thereby shift the way your mind works, your brain. And in fact, what you'll notice is that even though during that 25 or 30 breaths, you'll feel very alert. When you exhale all your air and you're in the breath hold, you will feel very alert, but very, very calm. Some of you may be familiar with this practice, so-called Wim Hof breathing. Wim Hof is a practitioner of what's called Tumo breathing. Tumo breathing has been around for centuries. And for those of you that are familiar with breath work and yogic practices, I acknowledge that nothing I just described is new based on science. However, the science informs why those practices work.